higher goal of empowering belief. The highest form of empowering belief is I am in control. And the lowest form is I am committed. I am committed means I am not yet there. I am not yet a great leader. But I am committed to learning every day. And that's positive. Commitment, commitment is that state, okay? Commitment is that state that you actually uh, get into long after the passion, no? long after the passion is gone. Diba? Sabi natin today, after, after these three days, I'm so passionate, I'm gonna change. But this passion can wane. It can disappear with energy suckers. Or because we're so busy, we forget about this. But commitment is that thing that will bridge it so that you get to the next step until you get to the end. Discipline is what will bring you from your goal to the results. And nobody likes discipline. Right? Discipline is hard because it is routinary, it is ordinary. And we have to always remember life. Life could be awesome, and then it becomes awful, and then it becomes awesome, and awful, and awesome, and awful. And in between this, that's called ordinary and routine. It's called ordinary, but this the story of the breathtakingly beautiful thing we call life. Now, because you know more now, you want to make sure that this awesome will just be here. Uh, this awful will just be here, and this awesome will turn into awful. You wanted to have more hills than valleys in your life. Okay? There is no failure means, you know, everything, every mistake is just a feedback. Feedback lang yan, no? I believe in myself. It means you are worthy to claim the results in your life. I believe in myself does not mean arrogance. I believe in myself means I know I can do it and I will do it because I am committed to do it. All right. The next one is I see opportunities in everything. It's basically what Jabbar said. No? Even in negative things that happen to you in your life, you see it as an opportunity to actually become bigger, better, bolder, increase every day in every way. Negative energy provides you that opportunity to practice your patience, right? Or to practice your communication skills so that you're able to actually use words to actually uplift people. Huh? There is a Chinese word which we call... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Waity. What is waity, John? Crisis. Waitian is crisis. Waitian and Christine, what's tea? Opportunity. Opportunity. Tea is opportunity. For every disaster, there is opportunity. And exactly the story that I told you about Mayor Beltex. So when Yolanda struck, when Yolanda struck them, Right? An amateur mayor actually said, I'm going to see this as an opportunity to actually build back Tanawan better. Waiting, that's it. I see opportunities everywhere. I have faith. I have faith that whatever it is that I'm doing will yield me the results that I want. Here's the thing. Worry, write it down. Worry over things you cannot control is lost energy. Worry is lost energy. Okay, if you keep worrying, ay baka ganito, or ay baka I might fail, or ay baka pagtawanan ako, or ay, my, my, my ideas are not as strong as ideas of my other, you know, my peers, so I will just shut up. When you worry like that, that's just lost energy. Just release it and let it all out and see if it will be awesome, right? And the last one is I am in control, which means you will stop blaming circumstances, Stop blaming people for the situation you find yourself in because you are the only thinker of your mind. No one else. So that is the highest form of belief. I am in control. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to, uh, just to share with you, when I went through my 108 breakthrough, no, I was not there. I thought I could not control the events because they're going to happen. So I was not in control. I want to go home. I just was here. I am committed. So I told myself, I am actually committed towards making this work. So I, I stayed there and it was a positive, positive state.